All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design. Learn more about CSS pseudo selectors by building a balance sheet. Step 57. So the key difference between tr class equals total and tr dot total is that the first will select tr elements where the only class is total. Uh, the second will select tr elements where the class includes total. Okay, of course. Uh, so in our case, tr.total will work. Uh, we can use this selector to target all TD elements within our total rows. Uh, we're going to align the text to the right and give them a padding of this right here. All right, so what we're going to do is this right here. So tr.total, tr.total, all right? And we're going to use this selector to target all TD elements, all right? So we'll say TD right here. And then uh, we're going to align the text to the right. So we're going to say uh, text hyphen align right like that. All right. Now all these uh, prices over here. And then we're going to give them a padding of this right here. All right. So we're going to say padding is now zero and then 0.25 rim. All right. So now it looks like this over here. So let's check it. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 58 and we'll see you next time.